Welcome to this Accio intro video on the employee attrition demo dataset. This dataset is provided to all Accio users, so feel free to take a look yourself. We're just going to do a quick walkthrough of it and show you a couple of interesting features to get you started. Uh, there is also a flow on the site itself that allows you to step through the various parts of this uh, demo workflow. Uh, using our onboarding program. So feel free to look at that. It is embedded in a tooltip for your first couple of times you log in. Without further ado, let's take a look. So right now we are on the table view. We can see we have a bunch of different information that might be valuable. Last evaluation score, average monthly hours, satisfaction score, salary range. And this is a one to two classification, or sorry, one to zero classification. So we're looking at attrition, whether it happened or whether it didn't. This is a heavily weighted data set, as you might expect. You're not expecting 50% attrition in most cases. And you can see that that's going to affect how we get false positives, false negatives, and how the model performs. But let's go in and take a look at how it performed. So right now we can go in, we're gonna predict off of this. I just copied this flow, so it's gonna want me to predict again, but we have it nicely cached, so it should be nice and fast. So here we are. You can see we have an accuracy of about 90%. Looking at top fields, this seems to play out pretty interestingly. So you can see training hours are the most effective determiner of how people are gonna stay. So if they're properly trained, that can uh, affect the staying value. You can see up 8%, that makes sense. Work location, pretty easy, also makes sense years of experience. So all of these are pretty logical. We can think of them that way. Top factors, nice thing to break into because it's different in that it's talking about specific ranges within fields, not the fields themselves. Uh, so you can see years of experience. Uh, we've got training hours again. So between 80 and 100 is by far the top uh, retrainer. So train your talent. Speaking as an enablement professional, highly recommend. All right, and then we're going to go into the web app and we can see that we're going to do once again our flow step and we can pull this out and do some predictions if we want. So I'm actually just going to deploy this really quick and we're going to go to the live app and we're going to play with it once or twice. So if we've got a job category. Let's see if managers are as affected by training, let's say. So years of experience, we'll say five. Uh, we're going to say that they work in the office and then the training numbers are going to be, we'll say 60. So a little bit under that really nice value. Uh, you don't have to fill in all of the fields. It can calculate based off of empty categories as well. So right now we're looking at zero attrition. Uh, it's highly unlikely this person will churn. They've been trained. Uh, managers don't appear to be as high on the churn level. If we change this out and change it to say assistant, I would guess that this is probably going to change a little bit. Five years of experience as an assistant, 60 training hours. So actually probability of attrition is still very low, very heavily dependent on those training hours. So feel free to play around with these. Uh, you can upload CSVs into them and you can look at other deployments as well. But I hope this has been a nice quick overview of the data and I look forward to seeing you in future videos. Cheers.